Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing very fabulous. So today's video, I'm gonna get into the newly restocked Charlotte Tilbury Lightgasm Face Palette. It's part of her Glowgasm line, from what I understand, which has the Lightgasm and the Lovegasm palette. And then she has some other Gasm palettes. You know, I have the, the Nude Gasm palette, and then there's I don't know, other ones. I mean, so many gasms. I think at this point she's just trying to brag, but <laughs> I can't. So if I get the names mixed up, I'm sorry, I'm not doing it on purpose, but I um, <laughs> I, I want to say many jokes, you know, but I won't because I keep my channel, I keep my channel clean. But, you know, I really wish that companies would stop over-sexualizing makeup names. It's like, it's really not necessary. You know, let the good product, the good formula that you have be the focus and the driving factor to, you know, bring people in and to buy your product. But anyway, I digress, I digress. I, <laughs> okay, so with that being said though, Carrie, why did I buy this? The reason why I bought it is because I do have the Nudegasm this one has two bronzers, a blush, and a highlight. This palette, the Nudegasm, these bronzers right here are phenomenal. I love the formula of these bronzers. These two shades right here are excellent as well, but for me, when I go to this palette, I'm, I'm going for the bronzers. There's a lighter bronzer, and then there's a darker one. They do have some luminosity to it, but on my skin tone, and, and texture, it doesn't emphasize my texture. It doesn't settle into my fine lines. It doesn't have a gray hue. It doesn't look ugly. It just looks really, really flattering. So when I saw that Lightgasm was back in stock, I jumped on it because I love the formula of the Nudegasm so much. And I'm hoping that the formula, let me open this thing up for you. I'm hoping that the formula in the Lightgasm will be the same formula in this bronzer as it is in this one. So why would I spend $75? Yes, $75. <laughs> I did use a, a code. I had a 15% off code, so it came down to $60. So why? Why spend all that money? Because when you get older, when you get to my age, I'm 44 years old, you guys, my skin is constantly changing as I get older. When you find a good formula, you buy it. And makeup companies and skincare companies know that you will pay top dollar for a good um, face product, whether that be makeup or skincare. And I'm also getting a benefit as well because it does look beautiful on my skin. So the reason why I bought the Lightgasm is for that reason, because I'm hoping that this formula right here and this bronzer, ooh, am I blinding you guys, will be the same as that, which this one you can't get anymore. It's been discontinued, but it is possibility that maybe she'll bring it back just like this one. But you do have a blush here and you have a highlight and then you have another highlight here and she calls it some fancy names. Let me tell you what they are. Um, so you have your, you know, your regular highlight, you have your multi glow, you have a pop blush and then you have your bronzer. So I'm going to use this all over the face today. Mostly my face is prepped. Um, I have foundation on, I have concealer on, my brows are done but that's the extent of it. This face palette, I'm gonna use on my eyes and all over the face because I want to test it out and see how is it compared to the Nudegasm, which is a phenomenal formula. So, but before I get right into it, my name is Carrie and I love makeup. Let's keep it simple and fun. So please subscribe to my channel if you like my content and to my current subscribers, you guys are amazing. You guys are wonderful. I can't say enough good things about you guys. I have great subscribers. Thank you very, very much for your support. I appreciate it. All right, let me show this to you up close real quick. Here is the beautiful packaging. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's got that nice kind of rose gold um look to it and it's shiny and it's pretty it's compact it's sexy easy to travel with on the back here kind of gives you an order of how to put the um products in this little palette on your face most likely i'm not going to follow that i'm just going to kind of do my own thing um it's got this nice closure and very easy to travel with, it's not bulky. So if you're in the market for a, a complete face palette and you don't mind the luminosity on this, 
then you know this might be a, a nice palette for you to have in your collection. But anyways, let me stop talking. See, I get on these tangents. I get on these tangents and I can't, I can't stop myself. All right, I'm going to, I think what I would like to do first is I think I'm gonna bronze first. I'm just gonna take a big brush here and I'm just gonna bronze. There is absolutely no kick up at all, okay? To me, stranger danger. If I don't see kick up, I feel like I don't know what's going on here. Well, <laughs> But, um, I, I, and because what it does is it makes me think nothing's getting on the brush and I keep going, I keep going. And then you, you put it on your skin and it's like, pa pow. So you got to be real careful <laughs> if that happens. So let's see, let me see if go in. Okay. No, not too bad. Definitely something that you got to build up and okay. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Very good. It's buildable. It's buildable. It's not uh, deceptive. I feel like sometimes you get products that look really light in the pan and then you put it on your skin and it's like tremendously dark and you're like, oopsie, I had no idea. And then sometimes something in the pan is really dark and then it's, it's very light on the skin. I don't mind building up, especially when it comes to a bronzer, a blush, things like that, foundation, or not foundation, eyeshadow. Okay. This side's always going to be darker, you guys. I got dark spots um, or discoloration on my skin. You guys heard me talk about it before. All right, let me finish up. Let me stop talking, finish up. Okay, first, first impression, it's exactly like the nude gasm. Um, it's the exact same formula. It feels like it. I'm building it up. There's a little bit of luminosity to it. Um, yeah, it's not too heavy. The only, so right off the bat for dark skin tones, oh, I, I just don't know if this bronzer is going to be helpful, um, to you. And I'm not even sure if you could use it as a blush. I mean, it's a possibility. Um, so, but with that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over, um, to the blush. Oh, you know what? Guys, what was I thinking? Let me swatch these really quick. All right. So here, let me do, let me get highlight, multi glow, looking at it in the pan, looking at this one in the pan, Oh, let me show it to you it's right looking at it in the pan which is this one right here um it looks a little bit too dark for me as a highlight so i'm thinking i'm gonna put that on my eyes maybe all right watch these all right bronzer that's the bronzer now there's the blush the pop blush wow that is stunning there's just the regular highlight and then there's that multi-glow. Man, that blush looks incredible. So there's the swatches. Um, I feel like the bronzer on my arm looks a little orange, but when I look at my face in the viewfinder, it's not coming across orange. So hopefully um, that's kind of like what you guys are seeing too. Anyways, all right, moving on, moving on. I'm gonna take a brush. Let's go into blush because I really wanna see the pink because I have a feeling that when we put this highlight on, like that's gonna be the focus because it's gonna be like pa pow in your face. All right, there's no kick up, no powder. Let's start on this side first. Whoa, glowy, 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 glowy. Okay, I, I did not. I'm gonna get a different brush because I accidentally dipped that one in the wrong. <laughs> Put it in the uh, multi-glow. Okay, so I'm taking a different brush in case you guys are wondering why I'm in a different brush. That's why. Whoa, okay, all right. Okay, the blush is beautiful. It's really pretty. If you like a luminous blush, which a lot of people don't, I get it. This is a very specialized kind of palette. However, I don't really see it looking like a gray hue. I don't, 
Now, you guys, I, I do have a little bit of texture like and, and some pores. Like, you're not going to, you know, it's going to emphasize a little tiny bit, but it's it's flattering. Does that make sense? Like, makeup's not going to be able to cover everything. I'm not... I'm not mad at it. Um, that looks pretty good. Um, do you know what I want to do though? I'm thinking that this right here, that's going to be way too dark as a highlight for me personally. I'm going to use it on this side with another, a clean brush. And I'm going to try this as the blush. And let's see what that looks like on this side here. Okay. I don't know what it's doing, you guys. It's giving me a glow for sure. Okay, I'm thinking that this brush is too pliable. I'm gonna, mm, I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. It's a little stiffer, so it might. Yeah, it looks totally, okay. That's not working the way I wanted it to work. I'm not mad at it. I'm just, it's just, so let me take the brush and I'm going to go back into the original, um, this one right here, the, the actual, um, uh, pop blush. And this brush is a little stiffer. So let's see if we can add a little bit of pink. Okay, yes, I was able to add in a little bit of the pink and you guys can definitely, let's see if I can come back a little bit. You can see this side's a lot darker, obviously, because I put more product on this side because I used, you know, the bronzer, the multi-glow and the blush on this side, whereas this side is just the bronzer and the pop blush. Now, let's highlight and then we can kind of move on to the eyes. And this one, yeah, just needs a little bit of tapping off, but all right, let's see. Okay, v very bright, um, very, very bright, very glowy. Okay, let's do that on this side. Okay, so let's do a little, it's just observations. Just observing. I think this palette has its place. For me, I already know that I love the bronzer right away. It's the same as that, and that's really what I was looking for. I do really love the, um, I do really like this, even though it's so glowy and so luminous. I, I think that it's really, really pretty. Um, I want to use the bronzer real quick and I want to bronze my nose. Let's see if it's, oh, okay. That was dark. You can see that right there. That was dark. Ooh, okay. Let's see here. Let's see if I can calm that down a little bit. I do right. want to take a little bit, this might be a mistake, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this and a little bit of this one. I don't know why I'm tapping off. There's no, there's no kick up coming up. And do I dare? Oh, I'm going for it. Okay. The glow train is happening, but the glowiness of it is very subtle. I'm wondering if I, you know, let me move on to the eyes. I am going into, well, let's go in this one. Let's put this on the eyes. We get a whole bunch. And you guys, sometimes if you have a palette that's being stubborn and you're not sure if you're getting any product, just take a little spoolie 
gently maybe wipe that top layer, you know, off. And now you've got some product underneath that's good as new. <laughs> or at least that's what I want to believe. It's good as new. All right. Let's some of that multi glow. Put that right here. I'm just gonna keep, because it's got like a, a definite metallic finish, I'm gonna keep rubbing it. The more you rub it and buff out a metallic, the shinier it gets. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna start to put it on the lid as well. I'm gonna take the same brush. I'm gonna go into the, just the regular highlight, the glow right here. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Inner corner, and it's kind of mixing with the multi-glow that I already had on the brush. Cute, really cute. All right, I'm gonna take real small kind of fan brush and I'm gonna go into just the regular highlight. And I'm gonna put a little bit right on my a brow bone here. We see you. We see her. Okay, now with this eye, let's go into the blush. Let's see what that looks like on the eye. To be honest, guys, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I'm looking really nice. <laughs> I think I look really pretty. I'm like all glowy and like, I don't know. Anyways, all right, let's put that one. Let's start that right here. I'm gonna just keep rubbing, blending. The more you blend and rub these metallics, the um, more shiny it's gonna get and more of that color is gonna start to show up. It's beauty. It's beauty is gonna start to appear and emerge. All right, I'm adding a little bit more. Let's, let's add some more. I'm gonna do to the lid or put it on the lid. very beautiful on the eyes. Now you guys can see, now that I have it on the eyes, this one's a lot more pink. This one's a little bit more, mm, leans a little bit more peachy. Um, and both of them do have definitely um, some like champagne highlight in there, if that is making any kind of sense. I hope that it is. Sometimes I, I have, you know, I know it's like what I want to say in my head. I'm going to do the same thing with this, with the highlight. I'm doing the same thing with this brush. Let's highlight the brow bone. Um, the same color, the glow, the, the regular highlight. Beautiful. So pretty. I'm going to take... A small, hmm, I need to take a small brush. This one right here, the glow, that's just the regular highlight. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner right here. So pretty, so pretty. It is soft, it is delicate, there is glow, but not a, not a lot happening. But I feel like my skin looks healthy. Uh, I feel like I do have a really nice natural glow to my face. Right, and so I'm let's finish these eyes. I'm gonna do two different things here. I'm going to use a pink eyeliner in the waterline on this side. And this is the LA Girl Pastel Dreams eyeliner. And this one's in baby pink. And then on this side, I'm gonna use like just like a nude, kind of like an off white. And this one is the Essence, um, and this one's in Silky Nude. So let's see if that makes any difference with the eyes or not. Okay, the pink is... Ah, my mirror fell. All right, the pink is on. Let me go on this side and use the nude, and then we'll go in, I'll go in with uh, mascara here in a second.
Okay. I, okay, so the, the liners are on. See if I can come in a little bit. And I don't, can you guys tell? My viewfinder is so small. I'm looking at my viewfinder. I know you guys are right there, but I'm looking at my viewfinder. Um, so here's the one with the pink and then there's the one with the nude. I don't know if you can really tell much of a difference. A subtle list of differences that really probably wouldn't make any difference if I did or did not do that. Um, but, <laughs> but anyways, um, we're having fun here, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. Because this look is so soft and glowy, I'm gonna really try to go in with a soft hand with this, if that's even possible. So I'm only gonna do like maybe two or three swipes. Ooh, let's see if I can control myself. <laughs> and only do the few swipes, so we'll see. Oh, that was already two. Oh my God, no. Okay, that's three. I feel like I should stop, but I want I want to go I want to go for more so bad, you guys. Okay, ju maybe just a few more. Uh, just a few more. Okay. Okay, it's Carrie. Stop. I have to stop. I love this mascara. For those of you who don't like this mascara, mm, how dare you say negative things about it? We all have our, you know, favorites and and what works good for us and what works for other people, and that's all right. All right, here we go. I'm not even gonna dip back in for more product. I'm just gonna go in on this side. All right, so I went, okay, I cheated you guys. I went back in a little bit just on the edge here. Okay, but both eyes have mascara and I think the eyes look really good. Just super simple, super glowy, nothing fancy you guys, um, but I just think it looks really, really, really pretty. Um, one more thing I wanna do before we move into the lips, let's spray the face. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay All Nighter um, Vitamin C Setting Spray. I really like this stuff. It does offer um, a little bit of a glow, but I mean, not that this look needs it, but but right now, this is like my favorite setting spray at the moment. And I guess I can get away with it because right now it's, you know, really nice weather in Florida. The humidity is not so bad. <laughs> not so bad. Let's move on to the lips. I want to keep this lip super, super light, super simple. Um, so I'm going to use my absolute favorite lip gloss on the planet. If there is only one lip gloss that I could have or lip product that includes a uh, liner, that includes uh, lipstick, uh, glosses, you name it across the board, I can only have one lip product. It would be the Bite Beauty Yay Say or Plumping Lip Gloss in Rose Meringue. You can see there's no product left. I've almost hit bottom on it. And you best believe I'm gonna scrape out every little bit that I can from it. But this shade of Rose Meringue, so universal. Okay, there's a little bit coming out. It's so universal, it's so beautiful. It goes with any look, any skin tone, any age that you are, no matter what, this is gonna look beautiful on your lips. And you guys, I've hyped it up so much and I don't think they sell it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm asking for forgiveness before I asked, before I went in and asked permission to tell you how amazing this was. All right, anyways, let me stop talking. And you wanna know another good thing about it? It doesn't dry my lips out. I'm sorry, I know. Everything dries my lips out. So beautiful. So that just gave my lips just the most beautiful, natural glow. Absolutely perfect. Okay guys, I think it's time for me to show you the final look.
Okay guys, this makeup look is complete. That is using the newly restocked Charlotte Tilbury Light Gasm Face Palette, part of the, I forget already you guys, whatever her gasm names are. Anyways, I do really like this palette. Is it something that I'm gonna use every single day? Absolutely not. But is it something that is gonna be pulled out for special times? Absolutely. Um, I think that this bronzer right here is the same formula as what's in here. So for that reason, because of how much I like the formula, I'm, for that shade right there, it was worth the $60 to me. I know that that sounds crazy, but like I mentioned before, if you missed it, like maybe if you fast forwarded, um, because of my aging skin, when you find something that is flattering, that you really like and you really enjoy, that you feel looks really good on your skin, you're willing to pay. And oh, yes, the, the industry knows it too. <laughs> But, um, but again, of course I'm getting a benefit too, because I like how it looks on my skin. I think this blush is amazing. I really, really love this blush. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's super glowy. Okay. Super glowy. But for some reason, this pink glow to my cheeks, which I don't generally go for, is not making me look ashy or washed out or is looking unflattering on my skin. In my opinion, I think it looks really, really good. So if I'm going for a real glowy, natural, I'm in the sun, you know, I frolic the beach all the time. I've got that beautiful, supple, you know, 18 year old skin, you know, that I used to have. <laughs> I kind of feel like that's what I have here. Beautiful little flush of color to the cheeks, and I just think it's really, really pretty. Now, $60, or I'm sorry, $75 normal price. Um, I got mine for, for $60 because I had a 15% discount. Is, is very pricey. If you don't like glowy blush, if you don't like luminous um, bronzer, um, but if you're in the market for something kind of like a one and done face palette that offers um, bronzer, highlight, um, blush, extra little gasm over here, whatever, you know, it's the multi-glow. Um, I think that, um, especially for travel, I think it's really worth it. If you like a, a real glowy look, or if you want something like this in your collection for a glowy look. And one other thing too, darker skin tones. I don't know, you guys, I don't know how beneficial this $75 palette is going to be for darker skin tones. But with that being said, from what I understand, the Love Gasm face palette is a darker version of the Light Gasm face palette that's part of her nude. No, it's part of the, the Glow Gasm. <laughs> yeah, she's she, for real. She's just bragging at this point. Um, so that might be a lot better for a darker skin tone. Um, so just that's enough. That's just a side note. So you guys, all right, I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm talking too much. So comment below. Tell me what you think. Do you like my looks? What do you think of the palette? Are you gonna buy it? Do you already have it? Do you have questions about it? You know, give me your opinion. Comment below. I'll respond to your comments. I appreciate you guys so much. So I will always respond to you guys. And if I haven't responded to you within at least 24 hours, that means I did not get your comment. Okay. So sometimes they get deleted for some reason. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in the world of YouTube and the YouTube bots that like to just, you know, zip, just pull things right out from under you. So anyways, you guys subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.